it's finally here. And no, I'm not talking about Christmas. I'm talking about my package. I ordered this on Cyber Monday. I ordered this on Cyber Monday. And I finally got here and I'm so excited. I ordered something else from PD Science on Friday, on Black Friday. And it's still not here, so I'm kind of like, what? And I'm checking my email, and they haven't sent me a tracking um, email or anything like that. Like, they said they would once they ship out the package, so I'm guessing they haven't shipped it out. But it's been a week, so peace signs. I need my protein and my BCAAs. I'm going to show you what I got now. So this was a really good deal because it was buy one and get the second one for free. So of course I had to buy more sweet sweat. I got more sweet sweat because I ran out. Too bad I just went running or I would have used this. Target slow to respond problem in injured areas promotes additional increase in circulation, sweating and motivation. Salaries warm up and recovery time. Fights, muscle fatigue, and painful injuries such as shin splints, pulls, and strains. Good morning, guys. So I am on my way to Griffith Park, but we stopped for some gas. Oh, cool. Just a little mini bike ride going on. But, um, yeah, so today I have my long run. It's uh, an hour and 15 minutes, and after that, I'm probably gonna have breakfast. I didn't have breakfast this morning because I wasn't hungry and I'm trying to be more of a intuitive eating person because sometimes I do eat and I'm not hungry but I eat because I need to get a I know I need to get a meal in because I won't have time later or because I'm going running so I need a source of energy but sometimes I don't get hungry in the morning like I used to. I used to always be really hungry in the morning. Rainy days seem to be my favorite sometimes The flavor of sunshine can savor its fun time and fun rhymes This is serious shit Lucy Ricardo scheming on a delirious tip Yeah, hold the rag but not to bang I use it to hold all the hair right in my face And without pulling out my fangs I talk to I'm gonna do the runners blow your nose Where you go like blow it out And then you just like get your mucus And you just like psh like that. Oh. You want me to show you how okay? <laughs> no, Yeah, I've seen you do it before. You've seen me do it? Yeah, I've seen you do it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Like, yeah. I don't have nothing to blow my nose with. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, she got a 75 minute run. She's gonna run around the world. And her next marathon's in Ventura. And she's the best. And I'm wearing my shirt that gives me superpowers. Talking to this mono, we mono, we'll walk the walk, tagging ignorance all over the street and block the dot. Every day I never rate my own book. I take the bus and smile, keep my eyes peeled so I don't get my phone took. People, people around me with no detect. Surface a window scribe with hieroglyphics to inspect, but yet. I had a really good run today. I was not feeling the run in the beginning for sure. I didn't want to run. But then once I got into it, I was really enjoying it. It was easy. Even though it was uphill and I felt accomplished. So now I'm gonna go home and eat because I'm starving. So I had to make a pit stop at the 99 cents and buy cheese and some spinach because I'm about to make the bombest bagel sandwich you've ever seen. I got the pan going with some butter spray. You can always skip out on the cheese if you're trying to cut calories.
Here is our breakfast. I'm so excited to have this. And of course, my coffee. I prepare myself a noon mango hydrate tablet. It's good for hydration. No sugar added. It's good. We were on our way out and we forgot to get the car keys. Yes, we're not gonna go very far if we don't have car keys. So I'm just sitting here enjoying my drink. I wish I had time to take a nap because I am tired, but I gotta go, go, go. We're ready for date night. Zoom on that booty. <laughs> not be looking at my, my, my hot day tonight. I almost forgot to tell you guys what I got before eating. I got a chicken enchilada and it has beans with rice and he got the combo something so it, it has says, oh, ch cheese enchilada chile relleno and carne asada taco so low key not so low key i got a drink coach said one drink is fine and i just finished a six week training for him so <laughs> cheers to that cheers Yesterday I mentioned that I was meeting with my coach and I kind of didn't elaborate too much yesterday but right now I'm walking to go get a massage because it was part of the things that were brought up in yesterday's meeting. So I've been running now officially for a total of nine weeks. The first three weeks it was just getting myself back into the routine of running. I wasn't even running every day. I'm just gonna elaborate a little bit on what went on yesterday. Nah, I'm not gonna get into too much detail, but I did wanna talk about um, the meeting. So over the meeting, we just spoke about future plans for 2017. I have two races, um, one in January. It's a half marathon and it's gonna be Pasadena. So the course is hilly, so I need to train for that. Um, so that's gonna actually start off my marathon training because my marathon is going to be in May and that's going to be in Ventura so the plan is to um, for this week coming up I'm going to be kind of like tampering because I have a time trial again on Tuesday so that's going to decide my new training plan for the next upcoming six weeks and that's that time the fastest mile is going to be like a key factor in determining all my times and, my, and how my training is going to go so my goal is always to perform my best when i have a time trial moving forward starting on december 12th i'm going to start training for the half marathon in pasadena so my mileage is going up okay, so i need to clean up my diet more than i already have so I need to get on that. I need to start working on core exercises and upper body exercises because once my legs get tired when I'm running, I gotta use my upper body, which I already know how to do because I've been running for enough time to know how to engage other muscles that I couldn't engage before and I didn't even know I had. Yeah, so it's cool finding out that you can control all your muscles. Like that's, like, that's the craziest feeling ever. I'll get into more detail about that later because I just reached my destination and I'm about to get this massage. That massage was amazing. Oh my god. And now I'm drinking this cup of water they give you after you get a massage. Good morning guys. So it is currently 7.30 and... I kind of just woke up like 20 minutes ago, but I got ready and now I'm leaving the house to go run. I have a recovery run of a 120 to 140 heart rate. So it's gonna be easy, slow run. So I'm gonna get going because I have a hair appointment at 10.30. Talk to you guys when I get back and take you with me on my hair appointment. Finally getting rid of all this. Maybe not all of it, but some of it. 
a little change of plans today. Um, you guys saw earlier that I got up pretty early to get my run done just because I had a hair appointment at 10.30 and I was on schedule. I was getting ready, having breakfast, which by the way, I didn't record because I was in a rush and I was trying to get out of the house by 9.30. But then my friend had to reschedule my appointment, which was pretty disappointing because I was really looking forward to this haircut, but we might reschedule for Wednesday. Today's Monday, so a couple days, you know, it won't hurt. I called Fitbit um, headquarters and basically told them that my Fitbit, I don't think you can see it, between the metal and the screws, it, it like starts ripping. And this is my second Fitbit. But customer service is really great and they know that their product, I don't want to say it's not the best quality, but let's be real, plastic is plastic and plastic rips within time. So I got this new one, I want to say around June. So it's been like half a year and it's starting to rip again. The warranty is almost done. So I was like, let me call them and see if they can, I can get a replacement. And they're so sweet and they did give me a replacement. So they're going to send me um, a replacement for the same exact one. They also gave me another option, which was they'll give me 30% off towards the new Blaze one, which has the interchangeable wristbands, which is probably better. But I mean, I had to still pay money, even though I had 30% off. So I just opt out for the same one. I'll use this one until it's completely done and I can't use it, and then I'll save the other one for whenever this one's done. My chicken is done and it's super white compared to the ground turkey that I used last time. So it kind of looks a little bit funny, but it's the best meat ever. I out four ounces of the mac and cheese. Was it four ounces? I forgot. I, yeah, it was four ounces. It looks like four ounces. And then I'm gonna add some ground turkey to it. Let me zero my scale and I'm probably gonna add like three ounces, I don't really want too much. Maybe even less. Two ounces is good. And this is my second meal that I'm having today. Bomb. 